The Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Andrew Adams. Well, we had another busy evening in Oklahoma. Trackers were out. Would you believe it? We have had now three days in a row of a tornado. Now today, tornado threat essentially gone. But yesterday, remember the tornado threat was low, but it was there and we got one down near Chickasha. It was only on the ground for uh, almost two miles, just around a mile and three quarters, but it was there. Val and Amy Castor were out. Marty was out. We had several trackers out tracking as we always do, and it did cause damage. We got a video of that as well. Power poles were down in the Chickasha area, snapped, and you know, it takes some pretty strong wind to snap power pole, large wind. And then over on links three, we have when it actually happened. This is what radar looked like. A little bit of a curly cue there. Minor hook, five power poles were broken. Cattle truck was blown over. There was damage to a shed, several trees. And again, it wasn't on the ground for too long, but it was for at least a little bit, uh, 1.75 to 1.8 miles. And that makes it now 52 tornadoes on the year. So. Before that, yesterday we were at 51 after Friday's tornado. Now we're at 52, getting very close to our yearly average of 57, well above pace for the year so far. Nothing tornado-y on Next Gen Live Doppler radar this morning, but plenty wet across uh, central Oklahoma from south central to north central Oklahoma. A very nice dose of rain coming down. Some pretty heavy rain just passed through Enid on its way to Kremlin, eventually Pond Creek, Jefferson, Medford. You're mainly dry right now, maybe a couple sprinkles over your head, but once this gets here, that will change. It's also pretty loud, lightning strikes. We're talking 20 to 30 lightning strikes at any one given time. Some lighter rain toward Helena and Carmen and Fairview, that all drifting north. Finally gonna give a little bit of rain to portions of Northwest Oklahoma, Cashin and Seward, seeing some uh, heavy rainfall to moderate rainfall at times. Things starting to lighten up here in Oklahoma City, maybe a little bit of drizzle, a little pocket of heavy rain moving into Edmond right now. This is all the morning wave. We will have another chance at showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon. Cleveland County has essentially all but dried out. Tecumseh, just a little shower, that's gonna work into Shawnee as well. And we've got another shower working in from the south as everything today is going to do south to north, just like yesterday, moving into Lindsay and eventually Payne. Moving more to the southwest, Mount Scott saw some pretty decent rainfall for a little bit. Lawton has dried out, but this will move up into Carnegie here in the next five minutes or so. Rain rates will pick up there. We've got some good rain down toward Duncan as well. So nice soaking rains, can't really complain about it. That all lifts up to the north over the next few hours. And then behind it, as we head into the early afternoon, some more thunderstorms develop here across central Oklahoma with more uh, isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms out in western Oklahoma. You notice eastern Oklahoma looking a little bit dry through the early afternoon. That'll change as well. Later in the afternoon, they could see a few showers and storms pop up, but the main thoroughfare is going to be central Oklahoma and even out into western Oklahoma, the panhandle, though out there, a little bit spottier coverage of these thunderstorms as we work through the evening hours uh, tonight. And hopefully, dinner plans with mom Maybe we can get that a little bit drier by the time we get later into this evening. So that sure certainly would help out if anyone had any outdoor plans. But the last three days has been great across central Oklahoma rainfall wise. Unfortunately, northwest Oklahoma, not a ton. Again, that will change a little bit today. It's raining right now in Enid, so that uh, three tenths of an inch will go up. But anywhere from an inch to two inches to three inches in some spots over the last three days has been uh, really nice to see. 1.91, the number as of Yet, here in Oklahoma City, that will bump up a little bit as we go through the next few hours, and then certainly by this afternoon, nearly three inches officially in Kingfisher, though areas around Kingfisher saw a little bit more than that yesterday. Enid camera is very wet on a Lucky Star Sky Cam network. Rain coming down nicely. Winds are calm, but uh, it is, of course, uh, very, very soggy this morning. Temperatures in the 60s to low 60s. Here across the state, very mild. Winds light for essentially everyone. There is that one microburst in uh, Oklahoma County, but that was it. It's not like we've got a very uh, widespread wind event today. It's rather calm and then rainy as we go through the rest of the morning, mainly central Oklahoma as that wave starts to creep up. And then by the afternoon, we'll start to expand some of those rain chances to the east and to the west, but off and on thunderstorms 
throughout our Mother's Day afternoon as highs get back up into largely just the 70s, maybe some 80s off to the east where they are able to heat up a little bit more. They're rain free for a little bit longer. Overnight tonight, about a 70% chance for additional showers and thunderstorms here in Oklahoma City, 60 to 70 in southwest Oklahoma. Higher chances east and southeast with much lower chances to the northwest. Overnight tonight, temperatures back into the 60s, 50s for some, 60s for some tomorrow afternoon up in northwest Oklahoma as a north wind kicks in. We have a front coming through. That's going to drop our temperatures back into the low 70s here around Oklahoma City. Rain ending out west and eventually central Oklahoma uh, tomorrow afternoon. And then it moves off into eastern Oklahoma. Flood watch is in effect through tonight, not tomorrow night. So just something to keep in mind for any of those roads that typically flood. We'll try to dry things out by this coming weekend. That's all we got for now. News 9 is going to be back in just a few.